Hello and welcome back to the channel. This week's build is a build that I bought in January. Uh, a couple used it to camp with their family and they were having another baby and had outgrown it. So I purchased it. And the super exciting thing is she sleeps three. So let's get into it. All right, so let's start in the back area. So number one, I have watched hundreds of YouTube videos and I wanna thank everyone for all their ideas uh, because that allowed me to then have my own ideas based on that. And really that's how this all got started. November of 2022. So anyway, as you know, I am a huge fan of the no build build because it can be whatever you want, whenever you want. I love the convertibility. If I want to face front, I can face front. If I want to face the back, I can face the back. So this is a wooden build. Never seen the configuration before. The bed is uh, wooden. It folds up. Right now, is it, it's in a its expanded version obviously at 48 by 72 it folds up to uh 48 by 24. now i'm not using my triple fold gel mattress i actually got two 24 by 72 mattresses and i'm using that I'm using it that way because I have a couple other builds that you haven't seen that are going to need varying sizes of mattresses and beds. So it really made sense to go the 24 by 42 because ultimately in the long run, it's going to be more versatile. So when not in use, this folds up to just about coffee table size. As I said, 24 by 48. But this is it in bed mode it's also got a nightstand on the other side which i'll show you when we get to that side of the van now um again this is my first go around with it from what i've seen so far it looks to me like there's three versions that it can be utilized so this is version one and this sleeps three and this would be with the kitchen on the inside so now let's go to so back here we sleep two in the front seat we're going to be sleeping one all right so this is the third bed and again, it's definitely designed for a smaller person. The head of the bed must be on the passenger side because of the uh, steering wheel. And it is on a wooden board, just a wooden platform that the gentleman covered in a roofing material made by Tiger Products. And I've got a self-inflating mattress on it and a sleeping bag and because the seats have the arches I threw uh, I always carry two moving blankets with me in case I want to throw them on the ground for anything uh, have a picnic whatever if I don't have another blanket I've always got my moving blankets so I've got one in each seat and it just made it the perfect height to fit uh, the top with the legs that came with the build. The legs both in the front and in the back screw on um, into the platforms that they're sitting on. He constructed it really well. I think it's a great design and I'm really excited about this. Now, I do have a piece of textile laying there and it could be hung with bungees between the back and the front seat to give more privacy to everyone involved. I normally don't do a curtain between the front and the back because I like to see as much space as possible. 
And again, it would depend on who the three people were that were camping, whether or not you had it. But uh, I like the idea of having privacy available if you want it. So this is the third bed. Again, it's for a smaller person. It is surprisingly comfortable. It works for me. I'm five foot four. I don't sleep with my legs straight out all the time. Um, I don't know what you would call the way I sleep. It's not a fetal ball. But anyway, I'm a little bit tucked. Let's put it that way. So it was comfortable for me. Um, again, I'm at about a buck twenty in terms of weight and not a big person, so it would work for me. Uh, got an accessory bag right here. Of course, you know how I am. Got to have your important stuff close with you. That's what makes it a camp. So this is the view from the passenger side, and as you can see, the gentleman who did the build was nice enough to make a little nightstand, and it just works out really well. I would not be using my um, candle aromatherapy diffuser right there, but it looked good for staging, and when I do use it, I would be using it on the ba back kitchen counter, which is behind the blue pillows. And I'll show you that in just a moment here. But <clears throat> I had told a member in a Facebook group that I would share this with them because it really does give you more space. But I think it's going to very comfortably sleep too. You still have your little nightstand here. Of course, as in front and as always, I do have important things, bags on both sides. Uh, with this build, the um, cup holders are easily accessible as nightstands. I have my head in the back, uh, sleeping with my head in the back because that's just my favorite way to sleep in my van. It, you could go either way with this, but I really think it offers more privacy if you're sleeping three to have your head to the back of the van, the person sleeping up front, to have their head to the passenger door. Although this doesn't show much, I did want to point out that the builder uh, put these handles both uh, in the back of the kitchen unit as well as the front. And I'm telling you what, it makes it so much easier to move and super simple to tie down. You have something to put the loops through. So, um, yeah, really loving it. We're going to jump in and I'll show you what it looks like from the front. And again, this is version one of a build that I bought, wooden build I bought from somebody in January. And there's two other versions and it's just got a lot of possibilities. If you happen to get to camp and it was raining, this is how I would do the build because then I could cook inside. So I took the pillows, laid the pillows down on the bed because I wanted to uh, let you guys see a little glimpse of the kitchen unit. It's not super accessible when the bed is folded out, but if it was a rainy camp, who cares? I would just pull out everything I'd need from there. Uh, the kitchen fits my ice chest. I don't use a refrigerator, which we'll go into some video, but not today. And uh, it holds my water jug, has a sink, place for my stove, and it's just got a nice big countertop as well as storage behind. So the storage behind, I'm going to put all my spices in and almost my entire beverage bar fits up there too. So it's going to be a really comfortable and all-inclusive intimate camping experience. So I'm going to try out this version this weekend at a friend's organic farm. I'll let you know how it sleeps. I'm really excited about this. So much opportunity. It's a lot different than I normally do with my no-build builds, but 
when I saw it for sale, I just could not pass on it. It was for a Gen 3. I have a Gen 2, but it works and makes for such a nice, fully functional mobile micro home. All right, we'll see you next week with version 2. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, um, follow, and subscribe, and share if you feel moved to. Thank you so much, folks. Have a great week. Bye now.